Guys, got some exciting news. Steel Beauty's Garage, the series we're starting, picked up some sponsors. Welcome to Carico Classic, uh, Ford F100 World, Mercury M100 Steel Beauties, and Build It Your Way. As you can imagine, I'm going to be doing stuff in the garage. Uh, we just, you know what, I'll just say it. This video is sponsored by Auto Crafters. Uh, we were able to land some parts uh, that I would like to do videos on, on how to install them and everything. Along the way, I'm going to remove my bucket seats. I got some things I need to fix on them. Uh, one of them is a little bit messed up, other than the paint. And I'm going to sh just show in close up, because there's not too many videos out, of the bucket seats. I mean, it's sort of a trendy thing that's happening right now, and it is sort of one off. I know some of you guys are like, well, how, why wouldn't you have a bed sheet? You want your lady next to you. Well, yeah. Uh, and I want her safe over there in her seatbelt. Um, maybe I'm crazy. I don't. I don't know. But you know what? Hold on. I'm just. I'm just gonna grab the stuff. Check this out. I don't know if I have enough arm to, to do it. Check that out. Isn't that cool? I don't even have a banner of my own logo. Just toss That's what's nice about having a truck without like a mint paint job. You can be a little rough on it and it's okay. Hold on. All right. What is the stuff I got behind me? when you roll on sound and sound deadener. So we, we got one of those, got the sound deadener. Uh, this is the off-brand stuff. Uh, my truck isn't like a name brand type of uh, truck, so I'm gonna use the off-brand stuff. All right. And then they even got some scuff plates. But what I like about these is that they are like Ford licensed official product, so. And I like it. I like that they look rugged and well made. So we came with screws as well. This will be the next two or three videos. So again, I'll recap. Take out the bucket seats. Talk about the bucket seats. That's probably what we're going to see in this video right now. Uh, and then we're going to remove the carpet, um, and then we're going to add the sound deadener. Throw the, put the carpet in. Um, the one that I'm getting is, uh, it's called a cut pile, and I think the normal ones in our trucks, or at least in the 70s, are loop pile. I thought maybe there might be some videos out there about loop pile, so I'm gonna try this cut pile stuff. Seems to be, I don't know if it's better quality, but it's like prettier, you know? So I figured I'd, I'd try to use that. I mean, this truck's retired anyway, so. See how it goes in with the tank and everything like that. Um, I will say this, man, great customer service. Uh, after the order was in, they contacted me and they asked me how I wanted to cut with my tank. The floor mats, they even asked me what color I wanted the Ford symbol to be, like the circle part. You'll see. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna show up Monday or this week, which was pretty fast, so I thought that was pretty cool. It seems like it's uh, cut and made house, you know, in-house. I'm excited. Uh, that's gonna be the next few videos. Uh, future videos we're gonna be doing for the Steel Beauty's Garage. I got more stuff, hold on. is a beer keg all polished up and I'm going to make this my fuel tank so that is a future video uh, if you guys want to see that video give it a thumbs up definitely hit that uh, bell icon if you guys want to see this and stuff it will happen you guys know what this is right uh, this one is actually used um, I think I'm gonna see if I can't locate a new one I'm looking into new speakers, even though I really don't use them. I listen to my exhaust. And um, from there, I'm gonna use this as mock-up, but that's a future video. Other than that, I've got a rebuilt engine there behind you. I'll be installing that someday soon. I've got a T5 transmission that I will mate to it. And then 
I have a tailgate over there that I got to clean up and I will be installing that as well. And then I've even got a, an old vintage case that I'm going to get painted black uh, and then have it pinstriped. So that's going to be cool. I'll be installing that. And then there is a door on the other side over there. I might locate another one. We've got felts, felts for those, the window rattler kits. Um, it's exciting guys. Stick around. I want you guys to hit that bell icon. I want you guys to head over to autocrafters.com. I want you guys to check out the gold member club. Are you starting a restoration? Are you guys maybe wanting to buy like bulk amount of stuff and you get expedited shipping as well as I think $15 on the flat rate shipping for a lot of the things. So it's really like on the top end, definitely really good if you're wanting to buy a bunch of stuff together. So check out that gold membership. I'm pushing for a 4F100 World uh, promo code. So that'll be announced soon. So let's get started. I'm excited. We're gonna start with the seats. Let's do it. You're going to need for your bench seat, you're going to need 9 sixteenths uh, wrench or socket, a half uh, if you, for installing, if uh, you decide to go bucket seats. Um, I'll show you the installation after the new carpet and show you where it bolts up and everything, where you gotta drill the holes. Uh, so a couple uh, half inches to get the bolts on the other side, but uh, easy peasy stuff. And then uh, you never know when you need a screwdriver, so flathead. Hey guys, some information on the brackets. Uh, they started in the early 60s, 1961 and 1964, ended in 1979. There are three types, but I believe only two are used, slicks and bumps for the most part. Uh, these are made in factory, they are OEM, so they are meant for Mustang bucket seats, but I'm told you can use other ones like Falcon or Fairlane. On your floor, there are uh, divots that are in this shape of plus signs or X's that you can drill holes and mount your brackets. These are very comfortable. I'm happy with these. I highly recommend them. All right, now it's time to pull them out. All right, well, here it is. As you guys can see, these are the outside ones. Um, it needs to be vacuumed. And then I had to drill uh, new ones for the bucket seat brackets. And in case you guys wonder, that right there is a Fal like early 60s Falcon console. You know, I got my, my car clubs right over there. Go Pharaohs. Um, you guys will probably ask about this. It is a uh, three-point seat belt. Um, you can find those on Autocrafters as well, um, as well as the kit to install them, um, like washers and everything and, and bolts. And uh, if you get the right kit, there's uh, some of them have these solid sleeves. Um, I like that because, as you can tell on the other one, um, you know, the seatbelt's right there. It's not flinging around or anything, and these don't hit the doors as much. Well, maybe the gas tank. So, yeah, here it is uh, out. And then I will give you guys a good look of the Mustang bucket seat out. These are 67 or 68. I always forget and people always tell me. I got a hold of these reupholstered for a really good price and I added the, uh, bought some used Mustang things, which uh, I think those you can find those on Autocrafters uh, Mustang magazine. Again, these are for bumps, so 67 to 72. So it looks like I only need to repaint the far one. You guys can see there. One of these bolts in here, um, like these, these just normal bolts that slide in, and then this frame is supposed to hold the bolt so when you put the nut on, but for some reason this one's sliding around, so.
just to clarify, these are the Mustang seats and tracks that you pull from the Mustang donor. Well, that was a pain. I don't remember it being that hard. Alrighty. I went ahead and painted it. Saved you guys some time here. Um, sanded it down with, uh, got it loose with uh, 180. Um, got the paint off of it and everything. Got her down to metal. And then I used a 400 to sort of soften it up. I'd like to use something more than that, but that's what I had on hand. And the paint I used is the Automotive Enamel uh, by Rust-Oleum. I like this stuff. I've used it on jobs like this. And this is really the only problem I've had with it so far on my budget build here. But, um, but yeah, there you go. All right, I'll be back when this sets. All righty. Looks good. Not perfect, but good. I like it, I like it. All righty, now it's time to install. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Here's another future build. <laughs> you guys can imagine what that's gonna go on someday. Stay tuned. All right, let's put this on. Let's get these installed. You guys will notice the shape of the metal. Uh, we just touched the outside one today, so I'll talk on these more in future videos. But uh, you'll see the way that they're shaped. So the angle wants to go up because it sits on the floor this way, right? It sits on the floor. And then the seat's angles up, which sort of, as you imagine, sits you back into your seat better. So. For those of you who wonder if these are more comfortable or whatever, they really did a lot of thinking uh, with these. In fact, I think I'm more comfortable in a Mustang bucket seat than I am in an F100 bench seat. So that's something to think about. So, All right, let's get these on. So as I was getting these finger tight, I noticed that there are two, lack of a better word, dowels, if you will, uh, that sort of guide the way the brackets bolt on. This is something that came on the Mustang, so it must have been used on there, but they, uh, here, I'll show it to you. And you can tell that it, it has it set even as I was finger tightening them, I noticed that. Kind of cool. You don't notice it in the truck, but uh, there it is. So uh, I'll give you an underview. So these are reupholstered, but a lot of it was original. So you can tell. So F100 brackets and then the tracks here, you know, handle the same way. I think you can get these in Chrome, um, but that's how the seat works. Pretty easy stuff. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more, uh, hit that uh, bell icon. Requests uh, while all the seats are out. 
that you guys want to see something, uh, go ahead and ask me. And if you got any questions, comment down below. I'll do my best to reply. Hey, if you guys like what you've seen so far uh, and you guys want to see more, go ahead and hit that bell icon. Notify you guys for future videos coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't give up. Keep those steel beauties on the road. See you guys.